welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by singer and songwriter Leo Ihanacho. And here's what happened when I caught up with him. Leo, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying it. Thank you for having me. We're here. We're here to have some fun. Absolutely. It's a real <laughs> pleasure to have you here. And uh, we've got to talk about the name, first of all. Leo the Lion. I am, my star sign is a Leo. Uh, big fan. And uh, why do people call you that name? <laughs> well, you know, I think... Well, obviously, because of my, you know, uh, regal nature, my animalistic prowess, you know, um, I think that's why people call... I know it's kind of named that kind of, kind of stuck, you know, when people say Leo... They always just kind of say lion. And I remember um, we were we were doing this a streets tour and um, we wanted to get um, like, you know, our, shirt, our names on the back of our outfits that we we're going to be performing in. And so like Mike had his like one. It. Mike had like skin on his back and Eddie had Eddie Kid. And uh, everyone had their, you know, everyone in the band kind of had their name. And so I figured, you know what, let me just put Leo the Lion at the back. And then that's kind of, it just kind of stuck from there, you know? People just start calling me Leo the Lion. So yeah, it's kind of stuck It works. From that, which yeah, is yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Absolutely. Well, I actually saw you yeah. perform at the uh, rugby dinner at the Gravener House Hotel and you yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. smashed it. And I was like, you've got to come oh, on the show. Um, so like I said, oh, it's a real uh, honour to have you here. We're going to go into your first song choice, Leo. Uh, classic, yeah. can I just point that out? Uh, I want to know what love Tell is. Tell me about it. Foreigner. Big tune. <laughs> Big Are tune. you mad? <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! Why yeah. this song? <laughs> listen, you know, I listen, I'm a I, I'm an 80s kid, right? Me too. And people, right. So when you have those big rock ballads, you know, it's just the song is incredible. The emotion, the 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 lyrics. Just everything about it just overwhelms me. And you know, I was back in the days, you know, you get the guys and they've got the long hair, you know, and it's like they're singing soul music, these like rock gods, man. It's, it's a big, big tune. And it's always been with me like since since the beginning. And I've always loved it. It's never got old. It's just one of those songs that every time I hear it, it just does something to my spirit. So yeah, so I had to put that in. I know what you mean, those 80s ballads. There's nothing like yeah. it. And uh, this There's one is. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an absolute classic. Uh, released in November 1984, it went to number one in both the UK and the US. Enjoy. I've got to take a little time. Hey, people, this is Leo the Lion, and here is my song, I'm Sorry. Check out the dance moves on this one. It's, uh, it's a hit. For this one. It hurts me not to see you again.
everything started for you because you're so musical. Where did that come from? Um, so I kind of grew up with a musical um, family. You know, my, my my sister sings, Francine. Um, my everyone in my family is just into music, and we love music. We love to dance. We all love to sing. And I remember um, my first moment was like having like an old Michael Jackson. I think it was off the wall album vinyl. And you're, oh. you're able to like op wow. yeah, open it up and see all the images and pictures. And every time I saw Michael Jackson on TV and he's doing all his moves and everything like that, you know, you just want to replicate that. You want to just get in and do a moonwalk, do a spin. And so I just fell in love with him. Um, artists like James Brown and these kind of artists just, yeah. I, I love the way that they made me feel. And I kind of wanted to, every time I was performing, I kind of wanted people to feel the same way, so to speak. And I remember, you know, um, being the, 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 the one in the family that whenever um, family members used to come over, my mom used to say, oh, come and sing for auntie, or come and sing for, right? and I'll just go there and I'll be doing my oh. Michael Jackson moves and everyone will be like, hey! <laughs> you know? And so I kind of got a buzz from that. And so that, I was just kind of like the, the, um, the performing guy in, <laughs> in the family. And then it just kind of grew from there. And just the love for music and just how music makes me feel, you know, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's just amazing. So that's kind of like how I, you know, kind of started. Yeah, just doing lots of... See, that's the complete opposite with me, yeah. Leo, because I'm tone deaf, so everyone's like, in my family, is like, please don't really? sing. <laughs> like, the, the complete opposite there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was... Was there ever a plan B for you? It was always music was your first love and, and yeah. that's what you were going to do you as know, a career. there was never a plan B. Um, no, I mean, you know, I always say in life, you know, the way to have a happy life is do what you love, you know? Um, and so for me, music was, has always been the thing, the only thing um, that I love. And I, I'm, I don't think, um, I'm not, I'm not passionate about anything else, you know? And, I, and like, even if I try to do something else, we always go back to music. It doesn't matter what it is, you know? Music is the number one. It's just always been, I think it always will be. I mean, obviously I'm a big football fan. If I didn't do music, and obviously, football would be the next thing. Team? What's your oh, team? Tottenham, Tottenham. That's how we roll. And don't say Tottenham. nothing. Don't say nothing. We're coming up. We're coming up. My mouth is don't sealed. Nothing, okay, we're, we're going to move on from that subject <laughs> and talk about uh, Celebrity Love Island right. because, Leo, this was my era. And I can remember when that started and I just was... I was blown away by the show. Right. And I still say to people now, yeah, Love Island's great, but I loved Love Celebrity Love yeah. Island back in those days. I mean, you guys, it was a real experiment for you, wasn't it? Because there wasn't anything else like it, right? Yeah, I mean, I remember I got the call from my agent because we were on tour. We were on a tour at the time and um, we were just finishing the tour and my agent called me and was like, oh, you know, um, there's, a sh there's a show that's happening... Um, you know, it's going to be, we're going to be filming it in Fiji um, on an island. God. There's going to be lots of beautiful girls there. Do you want to do the show? And I was like, <laughs> Let me yeah, think about yeah, that yeah. one. I was like, well, I'm, you know, toys finishing in about, you know, a week or so. So, I mean, who am I to turn down such a request? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, what right <laughs> do I have to deny myself such an opportunity like that? So I said, you know, definitely yes. So, um, I, yeah, so we did the show. And it was incredible, man. It was just like an amazing holiday for me, you know? Went to Fiji, which was like literally the... Uh, they said it was like literally... Paradise. Yeah, amazing. They said it was like literally the furthest place from my house I could ever be. That's an official fact. And I live in London. It's officially the furthest place from my house to Fiji ever, apparently. Wow. Yeah. I've been to Fiji. It it's, is like the Bounty Bar yeah, advert, isn't yeah. it? It's absolute bliss. People are amazing. It, it really yeah, is. The weather is incredible. Yes, they're so friendly. I'm going to tell you something, but I you know one thing, I got bitten by these mosquitoes. Is it mosquitoes? My ankles were, were ruined. Like, <laughs> it's like... I, we still don't feel sorry no, no. for you. <laughs> I mean, I had a great time. It was a great experience. The people that on the show was yeah. amazing. To be honest, you, when you do a show like that, um, the day one, you're kind of like, you know... You know, you've bit thinking like okay, there's cameras watching you and stuff like that. Probably about a few weeks, a few days in, you totally forget the cameras, right? And you're just talking. I'm just, I don't, I'm scared of what I was. I was just talking absolute nonsense. And I remember one time, um, there's a chair that we always used to sit on, and um, the the world of things that you always used to say. And I remember one time, 
I was talking to someone and I, and I noticed in one of the like cracks of the uh, chair, there was a little camera and a microphone. And I was like, oh my Lord, they've heard everything <laughs> that I've been saying. Because you forget. Oh, it freaks me yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't you do forget. it. You, yeah, you forget after a while. You forget after a while. And um, yeah, yeah, you just, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous show. I mean, back then we didn't have social media like we have now. So yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. So, you know, I got yeah. off lucky. I don't think I'll be able to kind of like... Do it, do it now. Um, if I was on, oh, yeah. what wonderful memories, yeah, though. They really were. Well, we're going to go into your next song choice. Uh, you can call me out, Paul Simon uh, from 1986, another 80s classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for choosing that. Uh, why have you chosen this song, Leo? This song is a party song, it's got everything, it's got the, the, the melody, it's and it's just it's got that sort of like calypso, you know, vibe to it. And it's also ha what I love. I love the lyrics. When walks down the street, it says, "Why well, I'm gonna stuck in the middle now." Why well, that's it's just like you just you're in the moment. You're in the story. It's a great song, <laughs> and that's what songs about. Songs are just great stories, and this one it has everything for me. Melody, just the the vibe. You just, you have to dance, right? You can't not dance to this song. So yeah, that's. Definite right. classic. Yes. We want everyone at yeah, home yeah. in your living room off Get your sofa up. right now dancing to this Big song. Uh, with Leo and I. Here we go. Enjoy. We'll see you after. Now, I know that you have collaborated with The Streets. Uh, wow. Tell us more about that, Leo. Um, well, yeah, it was... I mean, it was an amazing time, you know, working with Mike and the, and the guys. Yeah, we, I mean, we recorded, you know, a um, couple of albums. We did so many tours around the world, um, so many great shows. It was such a great experience, you know. And at, at the time, like I said, you know, when, you, when you're working on, on music and you're performing and doing all these shows, and at that time, we didn't really have that much social media going on. So it's, it was kind of... You know, I remember coming back from a tour and um, people were just looking. I was thinking, why are people looking at me? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, are you like, why are you looking? Mother? And because you never, we never really appreciated the, yeah. you know, things, how things were affecting, you know, p people at the time. But um, yes, yeah, so I remember coming back and I was thinking, why is all these people looking or, or coming up to talking to me? Like, I know that. And it just kind of freaked me out. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was it was a great time, you know, working with the guys, you know. It was, it's, for me, it was, it was one of the best times of my life, you know, um, being able to do what you love and perform and go um, um, around the world and, you know, sing to people and make them feel good and create shows and experiences for people that, you know, that even today they're messaging me saying, oh, you know, if, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have met my wife or husband or this song specifically, um, help me, you know, achieve something, you know. So it's, yeah, it's a great, it was a great um, time and I loved it. Yeah. And one of our viewers, uh, Jen, says, uh, is there a favourite uh, song of the streets that you like to perform? Um, yeah, this Blinded by the Lights is is a good one. Um, and, and in this song, especially when we do, when we perform it on tour, we kind of get... Um, we kind of get everyone to the. I mean, I remember we did one gig. I can't remember where it was. It's in Europe somewhere. Probably about hundred thousand people, right? God. And so we get we get everyone to go down on their knees, like like <laughs> squat down. Can you imagine like a sea of people? Like, all my just knees on the <laughs> all the knees. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. Everyone had to go go down, go down, go down. So everyone's like on their knees, and then um, after a while, when when um. Johnny, Johnny drum machine drummer. When he, when we give him the signal, he does that. And after like we count to down, that, we count down from five to one, and everyone just kind of jumps up. Wow. And um, that, yeah, yeah, it's it's just to see it, it's incredible. I and mean, if you go on YouTube and probably type it, you probably see that um, blinded by the light. So I mean, yes, yeah, so that's one that I really enjoy performing. Um, it's yeah, it's a, it's it's a good song. It's got the emotion, and everything like that. Yeah, and people seem to love it. So I think yeah, that's that's the one for me. Yeah, it's an absolute classic. And talking of another classic, uh, The Streets, Dry Your Eyes. Right. Uh, it's a great song, isn't it, Leo? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those, it's the heartbreaker <laughs> ones, you know. It's one of the ones that was kind of like the soundtrack to many people's um, relationship uh, problems and splitting up and stuff like that. I think people kind of, um, you know, 
love the song because it kind of gave them comfort to make them feel like they're not the only ones going through these same emotions when you've been dumped. And, you know, the girls probably found someone else and you're just there thinking, God, my life is over. God. Like what? Heartache. Yeah, yeah, heartache. You know, breakup is hard, isn't it? It's just like... Oh, isn't it? It's, it's the worst. It's the worst one. You know, I think you know, people think... They're really emotional yeah, here on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want your viewers to remember the time when you, you know, you broke up. Probably you're even breaking up now. You know, that emotion is painful, isn't it? Um, so just understand yeah. that the pain will go eventually. And it's, you look back on it, you're thinking, well, was I... Was I, did I really feel that bad about this person? You're like, nah. It's, a, it's amazing, right? It is, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, yeah. You get through it. You, you get, get through it. it. So well, don't worry about emotional it. emotional note. Yeah. Wise words there from Leo. Yeah. Uh, check out the song <laughs> and I'll be catching up with him on the other side. In one single moment, your whole life can turn round. I stand there for a minute staring. Now, Leah, I want to talk about uh, one of my favourite musicals of all time, Beautiful, right. the Carol King musical. I saw you in this. Oh, did you? Uh, at the West End. Yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. I would recommend the musical to anyone. What was it like starring in that? Oh, incredible. You know, it's like, I, obviously, coming from rock and roll, um, you know, where, you know, you go every night and you, you know, whatever happens, happens on stage. You kind of do what you think. And then come into theatre where, you know, it's just very disciplined, um, you know, very well-organised show, put it that way. Um, it was incredible, you know, like being able to, uh, you know, be in a, in a musical that, you know, you get to sing great songs, songs that, you know, you grew up to and you loved. And um, just working with some amazing, you know, um, musicians and singers that every night and we used to do like eight shows eight shows a week you know that's like i don't know yeah. how you do I that don't know because how, it's uh, yeah. Like two yeah two on a thursday two on a saturday two on a thurs and like one day off isn't it yeah one day off two shows on a thursday and two shows on a saturday and um you get a sunday off but it's not a sunday off because Gah. you're you're finished by sunday because you're we always used to go out on saturday night <laughs> and then sunday we're ruined standard yeah yeah standard and then sunday we're finished and then we're just thinking oh god we're gonna get in on monday and um at the discipline you know i have to take my hat out to all the you know theater, theater people that they're incredible the discipline and the commitment to do eight shows a week honestly like i was struggling you know probably about seven yeah. months in. I mean, I thought, oh, hey, I go on tour. This is easy. I could do all of this stuff. You know, we did. But I'm telling you, man, it's it was so much fun. I had the best time, but it's hard work. Yeah. It is hard work. And I really, really yeah. enjoyed myself. And I'm glad you saw it, man, because um, you get to wear stupid outfits, wigs. You know, I had to put on my big Afro wigs, wear my flares. Come on, man. <laughs> This this is why we're in this game, right, Haley? This is what we do. We do what right. we love. Yeah, and we get to act like Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was so good that I saw the West End show and then it went on tour and then right. I took my mum for her birthday down at the Mayflower Theatre in Southampton and she absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those musicals, like, you're right, it's the songs uh, that are just wonderful. It's the songs, right, yeah. And then we're going to play out a song right. uh, by Carol King. I did say, Leo, can we have this one? It wasn't actually his choice, it was my choice. Right. And this is my favourite song uh, from Carol King, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? I mean, it's just one of those songs, isn't it? Tomorrow. Big tune. It's it's like I said. I love all types of music, but it's the emotion and the lyrics. It's very. Um, it's just pure, you know. It's and 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 what's the word? It's um, what's the word when someone is uh, you know, it's vulnerable. You know, it's a very vulnerable song, and um, it's it's beautiful. And and I'm glad you chose it because yeah, I love it too. So yeah. Enjoy. Oh, wonderful. Well, yeah. here it is. Uh, enjoy this. And I'll be catching up with Leo on the other side. Tonight you're mine. Now, I want to talk about your single, Leo, Dance for the Rain. It's an absolute banger. Okay. I absolutely loved it when I heard it. I also like the acoustic version, right, right, right. Uh, which I saw you on your Instagram yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. So tell us about the song, uh, where the inspiration came from for this. Um, you know, it's like, it's... I remember I was watching a film or something and then there was a there was a line which was really beautiful um, where the guy was, he was kind of crying 
and he didn't want anyone to see. So he was kind of grateful that it rained so that he can hide his tears, you know? And I thought it was just a very beautiful way of, you know, um, you know, just kind of showing the vulnerability in, in, in someone that is trying to be masculine, but doesn't want to show that he's vulnerable, but he was, you know, you know what I'm saying? So he's kind of grateful mm. that the, t the rain is kind of like um, masking his tears. And so I reckon that, that uh, again, going back to breakups, it was around that time where, you know, right. you know, as, as a guy, you know, you want to kind of man up. It was says you man up and all this stuff. And, you know, you feel like you don't want to be a bit vulnerable, but, you know, sometimes it's cool to be yeah, a bit vulnerable. Yeah, it's tough for guys, isn't it? Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. So um, it's like, you know, are you crying? No, nah, man, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what, what, what was the score today? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's kind of like how we, we, we kind of deal with our situations, us men. But deep down, we're burning. <laughs> deep down, we're like, ah! Oh, um, oh yeah, Leo, yeah, yeah. it's so funny. It's not, it's not funny, but it's girls. We see, we very emotional creatures. Yeah. We see. And you're right, the guys, we think, yeah, you know, tough. But, you know, we all have those days, yeah, don't we? Yeah, we do, we do. And it's, um, it's, uh, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's fine, you know? There's no shame in it. You know, cry it out, let it out, let that energy disperse from your spirit. And then we have to now decide how we're going to move forward, you know? It's not the end of the world. You know, you yeah. meet someone else or you get another job or whatever. Um, See, my problem is, Leo, I'm an emotional eater. So oh, yeah, yeah. I've got delivery, yeah, yeah. pizza, That's, chips, chocolate. The... Yeah, it all goes wrong. Yeah. Diet goes out the window. I think, but you're allowed that. I think you're allowed that, Hayley. Like, after, <laughs> you know, when Thank this you. emotional situation and, you know, you just can't, you just can't be like powerhouse all the time. Sometimes you just take a week off, binge, eat yeah. all that chocolate you want, that ice cream, do it, you know? Just cry. Makes me feel better Yeah, now. yeah, just go yes. ahead. It's when it starts going into six months, you know, then the seven <laughs> months period. you got to worry, yes. Then I'm like, hey, you know, it's, we need to fix up a little piece. <laughs> but you're allowed to. Sometimes, you know, give yourself, buy that thing. You know, sometimes people are a bit, you know, when they break up, they go yeah. for shopping. What do they call it? The sh shopper, shopping therapy, retail therapy. Yeah. That's what they call it, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're allowed Yeah, that. I can relate to that as well. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right, we're going to let everyone know that your song, uh, it, you could stream on Spotify. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, you can stream it on Spotify, Dance for the Rain. Uh, I'm going to be shooting another video for it, actually, because I, I've I've got another epic oh. idea that I want to do. So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, okay. Spotify, YouTube, yeah, what have you. Well, I think it is an absolute tune. It's so addictive. You're going to love this at home. Here is Leo's song, uh, Dance for the Rain. Enjoy, and we'll see you after. Yeah. 
all of my tears Baby so quick because I know we could talk for hours but I know that you are setting up an academy uh, which sounds really exciting so tell us more about that yeah so um I'm starting the academy for upcoming singers and musicians who want to um learn how to sing learn how to perform on stage kind of like a performance academy um just to kind of teach um singers that they've been told a lie as far as um the, the typical things for you to be able to sing, you need to do all these high licks and, you know, hold your note like that, which is not true. I think, you know, singing is all about telling a story and, you know, being emotionally involved with that story. And that's all it is. Um, and anyone can sing. You just have to know how to tell a story. And that's it. So it's just kind of just kind of like kind of making, you know, the new up and coming singers kind of understand that. Um, way of thinking because that's how it was it was back in the olden days you know and when I say the olden days I mean mm. like you know um, <laughs> back in the day back in the days <laughs> yeah yeah you know when we didn't have all this technology and stuff like that people were just singing off emotions people were just telling stories really mm. so yeah um, that's what the academy is about it's a performance academy teaching people how to really sing and perform on stage or live anywhere else yeah so and yeah that's going to be um, happening this year Love that. Well, do keep us posted uh, here on the show. And yeah. also to remind everyone uh, to make sure you stream uh, your single Dance for the Rain uh, on Spotify. And uh, also, if Beautiful comes back to the West End, we want everyone to get tickets for that because that is the show. And it's just been so lovely chatting to you, hearing right. everything that's happened, Thank uh, you. talking about chocolate yeah, and yeah. pizza. And uh, also Leo said that I could become a world-class singer if I had a lesson, but he hasn't actually heard how bad yeah. I am. No, I promise you, one session with me, I will turn you into a world-class singer. I guarantee you, you've got nice tones. You know, sing something for us. Let the audience appreciate the nice tones that you have. Go on, Hayley, let me hear it. He's stitching me up now. They, all the viewers know. No, let's do it. They all know that I can't you sing. Can... It, it's a well-known no. fact in the industry, trust me. You can sing. I, can, I, I heard you a bit before. You can sing. You well, just don't know it. Very kind. Well, thank you so much, Leo. We're going to move on mm -hmm. from that. Uh, but thank you so much. Honestly, it's been a real pleasure and honour. And uh, keep us posted here on the show with everything you do. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Hayley. I appreciate Yay. it. Thank you, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye. It's Leo the Lion, everyone. Woo! <laughs> Huge thank you, Leo the Lion, for being such a great guest on tonight's show. And thank you to you at home for supporting the show. It really is much appreciated. Thank you. I'll see you same time, same place next week.